Key stage two, three, and foundation. Okay, what is powers of ten? Okay, powers, for example, I've got ten to the power of two. In this case here, that's my power. That's my base. So 10 to the power of 2 is 10 times 10, which gives you a 100. So if I do a small key here, small key in red, so let's just start 10 to the power of naught. Anything raised to the power of naught is 1. You will come across this several times. Right. 10 to the power of 2, it's 100. Ten to the power of three is ten times ten times ten, which equals to a thousand. Ten to the power of one is ten. Okay, so you need to remember that key. So that explain what powers of ten is. Now, what I'm going to do now is explain now the effect of when I multiply by 10, 100, and 1,000. So, when I multiply, When I'm when a number is multiplied by ten, each figure move one place to the left. So one place to the left when it's multiplied by ten. When a number is multiplied by a hundred, each figure move two places to your left. When a number is multiplied by a thousand, each figure move three places to your left. The same method can be used to multiply decimal by ten, hundred, and a thousand. So for this case here, we are not working on decimals. So let's just look at some example. I've got here 80, 85, 85 multiply by 10. So the number move one places to my left. So this becomes eight, five, zero. Notice one, zero. Let's just look now at, right, look at the link here. Just want you to look at this link. Zero there, zero there. But because we're not talking about decimal at the moment, right? Notice zero, one, zero. Now let's just look at 85 multiply by a hundred so it's eight five zero zero eight thousand five hundred again look at the link two zeros two zeros eighty five multiply by a thousand eight five zero 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 again the link here three zero three zero so that's eighty five thousand now let's just work through some examples here some examples we got here so 
we got 4.5 multiplied by 10. The number move one places to your left. So this answer is going to be 45. If we look at B, again, the number move one places to your left. So 10 times 6.32, the answer is 63.2. 15.46 times by 10, the answer is 154.5. Six. Now moving on, so when we multiply by 10, we move the number one figure, right, one place, each figure is moved one place to your left. So multiplying by 100, 100, then each figure is moved two places to your left. So now let's just look at 9.92 so 9.92 two places to my left so this is 992 again two places to my left 3.231 times 100 it is 323.1 7.4 times 100 so you got 7 4 0 okay for this one the number move two places to my left but very important that you understand that you got a decimal point. So it's 740. I do D and leave E and F for you. So we got a naught point naught naught six five one times a hundred. So in this case here multiply again by a hundred so we're moving two places to my left so this becomes 0 0.651 0 0.2 times a hundred becomes 20 Not point not not three five it becomes not point three five two places to my left now multiplying by a thousand okay so this time we're moving three places to my left here so three places okay so this is 6.254 is 6,254. Moving along again, B. Three places to my left, so it's 8, 6, to zero E is moving three places so it is thirty now have a go at the mixed question, right? Pause the video and have a go. 
right have a go at this section right so this is the bit i need you to have a go at okay now let's just move on now to dividing so dividing would be the opposite direction so what's the effect of powers of 10 right and i've explained what powers of 10 is when a number is divided by 10 each figure move one place to your right when a number is divided by a hundred each figure move two places to your right when a figure when a number is divided by a thousand each figure move three places to your right and you got an example there right that you can look at now so let's just look take for example any number we got here so we got eight to seven point six two divided by ten so we're saying here the number right move to your right one place so in this case here the number would move to one places so it would be 8.762 87.62 divided by a hundred so this one moving two places to my right, the answer would be 0 0.8762. 87. Point six two divided by a thousand. So the number moving three places. So it's not point not eight seven six two. Okay, so let's just look through these examples here. Eighty seven point two divided by ten. So basically one place is to my right. So this is going to give me 8.72. 342 divided by 10. One place is to my right. All the figures are going to move. So this is 34.2. 1 place is to my right, so this is going to give me 0 0.54 divided by 10 is 0 0.054. And 0 0.0428 divided by 10 gives me 0 0.0042. Eight. So dividing by a hundred, it's going to be two places to my right. So it's going to be seven point eight two three. Four hundred and fifty two divided by a hundred is four. Point five two twenty eight point four divided by hundred is not point two eight four dividing by a thousand you got two thousand five hundred and seventy eight point two divided by a thousand. 3 places to my right, so it's 
5,627 divided by 1,000. Three places to my right going to give me 5.627. A thousand divided by 98.1 divided by a thousand. It's going to give me 0 0.0981. Forty five divided by a thousand is not point not four five. So the rest you can have a go at pause the video and have a go at the rest.